Hello students, today I'm going to show you how to use Kami. Kami is an online annotation and markup tool that your teacher may want you to use to complete assignments in Google Classroom. You will access the assignment the same way as always. Go to Google Classroom, click on the Classwork tab, click on the assignment like normal. If your teacher wants you to complete an assignment with Kami, a blue Open with Kami box will be at the top right corner of your computer screen. Click on Open with Kami. This will give you access to the Kami toolbar. I'm going to explain how to use the Kami toolbar. Just remember, you will only use the tools your teacher asks you to use to complete the assignment. So on the left hand side is your toolbar. The select tool is just your cursor. The dictionary tool can be used to highlight a word to see the definition in the part of speech. The text speech feature allows you to highlight the words and then it will read to you. By RV staff writer JCH. Over the years, movies and books have used for names. Markup allows you to highlight words in a text. You can also strike through words. So this S with a line through it allows you to strike through or cross out words. And the U with a line under it allows you to underline words. And if you notice, I can pick the color I want to underline in. The comment feature can be used to leave a comment in writing, use your voice to leave a comment, or create a video. So your teacher might ask you to do this. They may ask you to tell them the main idea of the article in writing. So you would click on text comment, place it where you want in the article, and then type your answer. Or your teacher might say, I want a voice comment. Then you click on the microphone place where you want it in the document, and then record your, your answer. The main idea is, the main idea is, or your teacher may want a video answer from you. You're gonna click on the picture of the video camera, place it where you want in the document, and again, give your answer. The main idea is, then I'm gonna click on done. The main idea is when you submit your work, then your teacher can see your written comment, your audio comment, or your video comment. The text box feature allows you to answer questions. So if I scroll down to the bottom and my teacher has given me questions to answer, I can click underneath and then I can type my answer. when you do it, you're going to answer in complete sentences. If you're working on math problems, your teacher may want you to click on equation. This allows you to add math symbols into your answers. If I click on draw the drawing tool, I can add drawings to my the document. The shape tool allows you to either insert a square, a circle, or a triangle, or a line. Your teacher may ask you to use shapes to maybe circle vocabulary word. So I would click next to the word, drag to the end of the word, and then unclick. So click at the beginning of the word, drag and unclick. The eraser allows you to erase any mistakes you made. So say I what didn't want to circle this, I can hover with my eraser and it'll erase, or there is an undo button at the top here. Image. My teacher may ask me to insert an image from my computer or my Google Drive. So these are some of the tools your teacher may ask you to use when completing an assignment. Kami has many tools for you to use. As a student, you will need to follow your teacher's directions and use the tools suggested by your teacher to complete the assignment. When you finish the assignment, you will need to make sure you click on the turn in button. Watch as I complete an assignment. Now we're gonna complete an assignment that my teacher has sent me. So I'm in the classwork tab. The assignment I need to complete is tornado. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna click on the assignment.
click on Open with Kami in the top right hand corner, I can see my teacher's directions. It says Open with Kami, read the article, number the paragraphs, underline the main idea, and circle any words you don't know. My teacher also left me a video with directions. Hello, today I would like you to open this article in Kami, read the article, number the paragraph. So to complete the assignment, I can go and use my tools in my toolbar. So I opened with Kami, I read the article, now I have to number the paragraphs. I can use the text box to do that. So to do that, I'm gonna click on text box, I'm gonna choose my color, and then right next to the paragraph, I'm gonna click, and then I'm gonna put my number. Text box, my number. Text box. And I'm gonna go through and number all my paragraphs. Now the next thing it wanted me to do is underline the main idea. So I'm going to use the markup tool. I'm going to go down to the U with the line under it. Remember you can choose the color. Your teacher also might assign a color for you to use. So make sure you read those directions carefully. So I'm going to find my main idea. I'm going to highlight those words. When I unclick, it's going to underline them for me. The last one says circle any words you don't know. So I'm going to go and use my shape tool. And what I need to do is I'm going to go through and find words that I don't know. And remember, you're going to click in front of the word. You're going to drag to the end of the word and unclick. Click, drag, unclick. Now I'm going to scroll down and make sure I've completed the whole assignment. When I get to the bottom, it looks like I have more directions. It says, please add a text box and type your answer to the questions. Please write in complete sentences. So then I'm gonna listen. Please add a text box and type your answer to the questions. Please write in complete sentences. So for this one, you're gonna click on the text box tool on the side. You're gonna click underneath the question and then you're gonna type in your complete, your complete sentence. If this was your actual assignment, you would go through and make a text box under each question and answer in complete sentences. When you followed all your teacher's directions, the next thing you're going to do is you need to click on turn in. Turn in is in the top right corner. So I'm going to click on turn in and then here is my turn in button. Cami will save your changes every 30 seconds. So most of the time you will only need to click on turn in. However, before you click on the turn in button, make sure you have no unsaved changes. If you have any unsaved changes, make sure you click on save now before you turn in. Now it's gonna save it and it's gonna be there for my teacher. If I look back in my classwork, it says I've turned in my assignment and now my teacher can grade it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot about Cami. Have a wonderful day.